Bible. And I started reading it and I started finding out most of the stuff they told me to read. This guy's locked up too. This Paul guy. And so I'm going, man, he praised the Lord at midnight. I read that part so at midnight I started making all kinds of noise of myself. Praising the Lord. You know, yes, that guy yes, would have yes, yes, Oh, yes. no, they were going, hey, shut him up. You know, I mean, but I'm in there praising the Lord and I'm mind blowing to myself. And then and then, I, like I said, then when it was time to go to breakfast in the morning, I go, man, I can't wait to see what's for breakfast. And they're going, what kind of inmate are you? That's chow time. That's slob, man. That ain't no good breakfast. Then I'd be out in the yard and I'd say, man, I'm time to go back to my bedroom. Because I'd been reading, reading how we're seated in heavenly places. And I'm therefore, I'm a prisoner of the Lord. I'm reading all this kind of stuff. And not that I thought I was good like Paul, but I knew that God was with me in there. And the next thing you know, I started a group called God's Gang. Man, I'm telling you, in 1977, I started God's Gang. First original group that I know of where we were a bunch of gangsters for Christ. We had our bandanas, half our head, like a button up to the top, choloed out. You know, God does the cleaning up. Anybody who thinks you can come to God all clean, no, God does the cleaning up. And it takes time, believe me, he's still working on me.